Today, December 10, is Human Rights Day. It commemorates the day the United Nations General Assembly adopted the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. In light of this, the Equal Opportunity Commission and the network of NGOs of Trinidad and Tobago for the Advancement of Women jointly hosted a news briefing on the United Nations Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women. They used the opportunity to discuss gender and issues affecting women. Mahalia Joseph has more. One of the major issues affecting women globally is domestic violence. But another growing concern is death because of it. Chairman of the Equal Opportunities Commission, Lynette Simaran Sweet, says more needs to be done as the figures are too high. The average number of deaths due to domestic violence in Trinidad and Tobago is 24. So we're having, on average, two deaths per month, two killings of women per month. Uh, from domestic violence. The, you, you have 38 homicides on average per year over the period in Trinidad and Tobago, of which 24 are classified as domestic violence. The others would be... She's also hoping that one day the perpetrators will be the ones to leave the home instead of the victim. That requires some serious forethought and for planning for the reception of the perps and to make sure that they do not do what is called the tacking back after they've been taken out of the home to continue with the violence. The police are told to take the women out of danger, to take the victims out of danger. So they very happily take the women out of the home and drop them at a family member, but they're very, very unwilling to take the perps out of the home. And they're operating under instructions. So that is an area where you need a policy change and coordinator of the network of NGOs of Trinidad and Tobago for the advancement of women, Hazel Brown, says the parliament can do more for gender, pointing to a lack of gender policies in Trinidad and Tobago. But the parliament of Trinidad and Tobago continues to be a, an institution which is not living up to its responsibility in relation to women's rights. Why do I say that? Because we still have not got some of the domestic legislation including the constitutional reform that was promised by the government of Trinidad and Tobago. The network has written a manual to assist government departments in incorporating gender-responsive budgeting. We hope that the placement of the gender division in the office of the Prime Minister might bring some more um, traction and movement in respect of gender-responsive budgeting. The groups also marked the culmination of 16 days of activism to end violence against women. Mahalia Joseph, C News.